Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, feeling a bit emotional today and the reason for that is that the wrap uh, that we did on the M2 is actually coming off. I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that because it was very Marmite when we did it. A lot of people liked it, a lot of people actually hated it. I even got emails about uh, what have I done to my car? It's my car, so I can do whatever I want to it, but I still got those emails. They were like, I ruined it. And then on the other hand, people appreciated where we were coming from, the fact that we wanted to do a tribute to BMW's art car projects and make our own one with our own style. So, you know, it was a really good process to go through. I thank the guys from Mar and Aya for doing the artwork on the car and V-Styling for doing the wrap. It's been a really exciting project. In some ways, I'm really, really sad that it's coming off. But in another way, I'm kind of glad that it's going back to grey so the car can be a bit more normal. Um, so we're going to go off to V-Styling now and uh, Rolandus is going to take the wrap off. Um, it's going to go back to grey and we'll do a video showing the whole process of it going back to stock as well.
So the car has now been returned back to mineral grey. Uh, the wrap's been taken off. I want to thank Rolandus again at V-Styling for doing such an excellent job of number one, putting the wrap on and then taking it off in such an expert way that the car is exactly how I gave it to him. Also, I want to thank the guys at Mar, Aya and Marcel for painting the car and coming up with a concept. Now, I'm glad I did that whole art car concept because I really wanted to do it for a long time. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I don't really care. I did it for myself. Um, it was Marmite, but it did its job and it attracted lots of attention everywhere it went. Now, even though the car is grey, it surprisingly still does attract a lot of attention. Maybe it's the orange highlights, maybe it's the bits of carbon people see, but people stop me at the lights and they say, is that a special edition BMW? Now, you know the competition has come out now and a lot of people are asking me if I'm interested in buying that. And I would say no, because I don't think it's as special to be different enough to this one to make me buy it. And I already have an S55 engine car in the F80 M3. So I'm sure it's an improvement from this in terms of driving and it's got a bit more power from the factory at least, but it's not something that I'm gonna be interested in going for straight away. Um, as I mentioned before, if the M2 CSL or GTS does come out, that is one I'll definitely be interested in getting. In terms of our plans for this car, I have a few, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I think we'll develop a bigger turbo for the car to try and get a bit more power out of it. Um, also change the wheels and maybe do something a bit different with the body styling. So if you guys have any ideas or what, what you suggest you might be interested for us to do, drop a comment in the comment section below and we'll take them all on board and see where we go with the project. Thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like to watch more of this project you can do so over here if you'd like to watch what youtube suggests you might like from our other videos you can watch that over here if you like this video please click on the thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel if you guys have any questions please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you